TMS recently announced Electron support for their TMS web applications. Electron is a framework that allows you to build web applications that become desktop applications. And the caveat here is that it does not only work on Windows or Windows 64, but no, because it's a web application at its inner core, you can't easily deploy that application as a Linux or Mac OS application. The article that is right in front of me here on the TMS software blog shows you as an insight the wizard that is going to be available and the basic project structure, but it also introduces you to the uh, photo editor application. And I got to be honest with you, when I saw this blog post, um, I immediately wanted to see the application. And uh, as I'm the evangelist and hopefully TMS will decide to publish this video, I want to show you a little bit more about this great photo editor application. So let's dive right in. I open it up in Delphi Red Studio 10.3. And uh, as I already introduced in one of the basic videos about Electron that I did, we have as a project structure the icons for the desktop application. We have some JavaScript that builds the core of the Electron application. We also include the uh, Roboto regular font here. Um, the reason for that is pretty simple because um, Linux and macOS, they use different default fonts. And in order to make the uh, look and feel of the photo editor the same on all the different platforms, we decided to include the two type font into this application. Um, if this will be the case at a later stage when the product will be deployed or what kind of solution TMS will choose in order to make the look and feel for fonts the same on different platforms is of course undecided at this point. And uh, I should probably say this is all a uh, pre-beta version that I'm showing right now. So please, if something gets kicked before the release, don't blame us. Um, if you blame us, there'll probably be no more of these nice videos where we give you early insights into everything. So open up here is the um, application and it looks basically like a, a TMS web core application, which also is very similar to a VCL application with the application singleton being initialized, um, the forms being set on the taskbar. And the only thing here that is different is that, of course, as it is a uh, web application, we could jump into a different form right at start. And um, the application main form is only created when needed. And then, of course, the application is being run. So before we dive into the source code, let me show you the application, how it runs. So let's switch to the uh, build configuration. We don't want to do any debugging. So I choose the Win32 build setting or build configuration and start. And now the uh, source code gets compiled to JavaScript and the uh, packaging to an Electron app also occurs completely automatically. I didn't cut this video at this stage. So here you have the uh, desktop application with a file menu and this at its inner core is a TMS web core application. You don't really see that it's a web application. So what can we do? We can open a picture. Let's open this one. And here we have a wonderful picture with Mario and uh, I don't, I don't recall the name of the princess right now, but uh, it's Super Mario Brothers. It's uh, copyright by Nintendo. And um, we can change with these sliders here. We can change the brightness of the picture. We can change the contrast. We can set it to grayscale. We can blur the picture. And all this is being done CSS. So we're actually using web technology in order to make modifications to the picture. And now you might think, oh my God, I, I don't know any HTML and how to place all these controls and how to make these controls look and feel like it is a web application or the switch here, for example, or reset the filters. So how do I do all that? I'll answer that in a second. And in addition to this, we have a, a second dialogue that I can open up, which gives us information on this picture. This dialogue is not only a great example how to 
build a child form to a main form. No, this is also a great example to use a third-party JavaScript uh, library because here we use a JavaScript library that extracts EXIF information from a picture. You see that I took this picture on an Apple iPhone 8 Plus. It was created on December 10th, 2018. And uh, this is the latitude and longitude where the picture was taken. I think you've waited long enough. Let's look at the source code. So switch back to Delphi and we have the main form and oh my God, it's all Delphi controls. It really is. So we have a panel control and in these panel controls, we host track bars and everybody who did Delphi knows what a trackbar looks like, right? So is it any different? No, it's not. It's, it's really a T web trackbar. It's not called T trackbar. This is the only difference to the VCL, but as you're used to since Delphi 1, you have a position property which allows you to modify the position of the trackbar. And also positioning wise, you have top left as the coordinates. So there's really no difference to a VCL app. You have a line to align the control. And of course you have to give it a name in order to refer to this control. So we have for all the different filter settings, we have track bars, which are hosted inside of a panel. Then we have a T-Web toggle button with uh, the main key property, like how, what's the style, what it's supposed to be painted as. And of course we need a property if it's checked or not. So checked is either true or false. And you even see we have a response at design time here. Of course, it's not gonna look like it's gonna look when the browser paints it, but this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, on the left, we have another panel. And in this panel, we host a web image control. So the image itself is also something that you're used to, an image control. And this image control has a picture property, something you're also used to. So far, there is no big difference to the VCL. And the electron features are being realized using Guess what? Non-visual control. So you have the main menu, double click, and you can design the main menu just like you've done for eternity with Delphi since Delphi 1. So no difference here either. And of course you can interact with the menu items by naming the menu items and then switch the enabled and uh, visible property. Two more components here are a big deal because we're talking about a web application. Still we have a safe and open dialogue because Remember, this implies that you're accessing the client and that is something what you normally can't do in this way using a web application, but that's the power of Electron. So Electron actually gives you the ability to access the client station, the client computer that the web application slash desktop application is running on. Finally, the reset filters button is a button, just a T web button and not a um, button from the VCL. So you double click it in order to implement the event on click. And here you see, you've got all the things that are happening if you click this button. So you reset the filters, you, you update the track bars and you update the checked property of the toggle button. All easy peasy. On the other side, we have the information dialogue. And yet again, it's a dialogue that has labels and these labels are being filled with properties. Furthermore, we have the IPC communication control that allows us to communicate with the um, other third party library in order to extract the EXIF information from the picture. I don't wanna really dive into that. That's something you can look at yourself. What I want to focus on is that you have a base class which is called T electron form. So um, you're not using the standard T web form. It's a T electron form. That means you inherit all the electron capabilities right away in your form class and the functionality. And uh, otherwise you can really think of your web application slash desktop application as a, a VCL application. There's not that big of a deal in a difference. So why do I say big of a deal of a difference? Normally, if you develop a web application, you have to develop on a totally different pretenses. That means a web application normally requires you to think in totally different paradigms than what you're used to in a VCL application. Because you sometimes you don't even have state because you have different pages and the user can, by entering in URL, switch from one page to another, from one URL to another, and you have to take care of that. With Electron or with TMS Web Core, 
the framework is doing all that for you. The only thing you have to focus on is build your forms like you're used to with Delphi. And in the end, you're going to have a web application, which you can wrap in an Electron application only if you want to, because of course, you can also build a PWA application of the same TM as WebCore application in order to deploy your application as a progressive web application on an Android device, iOS device, or in a browser. So the possibilities that you have with TM as WebCore at this point are endless. So let me finish with one final point. We have a Web Google Maps component, which is part of TMS Web Core. If you use TMS Web Core, you get the web um, component to display Google Maps. And this component requires an API key, which you get from Google under certain circumstances. If you don't use it much, it's still going to be free. If you use it a lot, it's going to cost money. Nothing's for free in life, of course. So this is another great control that you can use with TMS. This is another great control that we show in this demo can be integrated by setting latitude and longitude. So let me show you how the um, longitude and latitude gets assigned to the web map control. When it's created, when the form is created, you assign your API key. And as soon as the um, map is loaded, that means when the Google framework tells you, hey, I'm ready, I've got the map at the default position. And also, if we have received the, or not received, if we know which coordinates to display, then we uh, set the center of the map to latitude and longitude and set the zoom accordingly. And also, we set a marker on the map where the picture was taken. So this uses the Google Maps control, which is, of course, um, fully documented already in the TMS Web Core documentation at this point. This is nothing electron specific. And let me finish with this. All the controls that you see here, like the labels, the button, the uh, map control, and also in the main window, this is all available as we speak, because this is TMS Web Core. This is what TMS Web Core is all about. TMS Web Core is about being able to develop web applications as if you were developing a VCL application. You, the only difference is you get a web application that you can run in the web or that you can deploy to a web server and everybody all over the world is able to use your web application right then, right now, by accessing the URL of your web server. Thank you for your interest. I conclude this demo right now of the photo editor demo and hopefully you'll have access to the demo soon. Stay tuned for more.